To get your application working on Python anywhere, one of the things you've got to do is move your database across, which hopefully should be straightforward. Uh, I'm in MySQL Workbench here. What I need to do is I need to export all of the structure and all of the data, because that's going to be really handy to seed the database with some data, so we're testing. Uh, and I'm going to import that into, into Python anywhere. Uh, there are a few fish hooks along the way. Let's see how we go there. I'm starting here in MySQL Workbench and if I want to export all of the data from uh, MySQL Workbench, I go to the data export choice up here. I select laptops and down here I select dump structure and data and export to a self-contained file. And this is the fifth one I've exported today. I've been playing around and start export. And what I now have is a file, an SQL file. And if I have a quick look at that in Notepad, it looks about right. Uh, there are some potential issues. What you want to see is in the collate section, UTF-8 and UTF-8 Swedish CI, because that's the collation that Python Anywhere uses. I think that Navicat, when it creates a database, automatically uses those settings, so you won't have a problem. Uh, my SQL Workbench does not. So what I found that I had to do was I had to go into the database itself, and uh, I had to alter the schema and change it to Swedish CI. And then each table, I had to do the same. So alter table and change to UTF-8. I don't know why it says UTF bin. I always select UTFs. It must mean the same thing. Who knows? Anyway, and then also each varchar field I had to select as being uh, that collation as well. Uh, all way easier in uh, Navicat. So in Navicat, you just seem to have to go to the database, dump SQL file structure and data, and you get an SQL file just like this one. So let's hope that all works. So anyway, here I am in my SQL file, control A, control C, that's all on the clipboard now. Back into Python anywhere, and I am in the databases tab, and I'm going to create a database. I'm going to call it laptops. This is from where we, um, were working before and start a console on laptops if it says you haven't got any consoles left well just go and delete one that already exist who ever said that db admins didn't have a sense of humor installing flux capacitors haha -ha. hilarious right and control v and ding it says so i'm just looking through here just looking for anything that says error don't seem to, and I've got some nice stuff that I can see, like it's saying uh, three rows affected, and which means that it's in, this insert statement says that uh, 21 rows affected, so 21. So it looks like things have, have worked, and I can check that by doing select star from TBL students, semicolon. Yep, seems to have worked just fine and that will do.